Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'll show you how to crochet this lace summer cardigan. I want to thank Hobby for sponsoring today's video. Hobby is one of my go-to online yarn stores, and they sent me this beautiful yarn to work with as part of the Here Comes the Sun challenge, with the color theme yellow. And yellow is one of my favorite colors. The yarn I chose for this challenge is Rainbow Bamboo, the color number 20, this one. And I absolutely love the name. There are so many great reviews on this yarn and free pattern to inspire you. So make sure to check it out. You can also subscribe to their Hobby Plus membership to access to even more patterns and benefits. And the link is in the description box. This cardigan is made up of five panels. The back panel being the largest, two small panels for the front, and two for the sleeve. To find the right size, you'll need to measure from a shirt from shoulder to shoulder, and the length can be as long as you want. Measure the sleeve, the length, and the width. With this number times two. The one shows in the video is a size small by the way. So I will be working with this gorgeous yarn for this project. I use six balls of the rainbow bamboo yarn. It is a number two fun yarn, but you can use any types of yarn of your choice. And each ball weighs 100 gram, about 250 meters. You also need a four millimeter hook, a pair of scissors, yarn needle, measuring tape, and stitch markers. All right, let's get started. Firstly, make a slip knot and make a chain in multiple of four. All the panels start the same, and it's a matter of the number of chains. I have the numbers of chains for each panel on the screen. One, two, Three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So make a chain in multiple of four that's close to your measurement. Once your chain is made, add four more chains at the end. One, two, three, four. To begin the first round, start on the fourth chain. That's one, two, three, four. This one, turn to the back. At the back of the chain on this little bump, place a double crochet. Yarn over, insert, yarn over, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through the first two loops, and yarn over, pull through the last two loops. Again, on the next chain, yarn over, insert, yarn over, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through two loops, and yarn over, pull through the last two loops. Two chains, one, two. Skip one, skip two, on this chain, double crochet. and double crochet into the next chain. Two chains, one, two, skip one, skip two, double crochet, and double crochet into the next chain. Two chains. Skip one, skip two, and double crochet into two stitches. And this is the repeat for this round. And I'll meet you at the end of the round. At the end of the round, I have three stitches left. Two chains. Skip one. Skip two. On the very last stitch, place a double crochet.
And now that one one is complete. To begin the next round, three chains. One, two, three, and turn. In the chain space here, place two double crochet. One, two, two chains. One, two. Skip the double crochet stitches. In the next chain space, two double crochet. One, two, two chains. Two double crochet. Two chains, two double crochet, and this is the repeat for this round. And I meet you at the end of the round. At the end of the round, I have two stitches left, two chains, and skip the double crochet stitches. On the chain stitch on top of the chain three. Place a double crochet. To begin the next round, three chains. One, two, three, and turn. Two double crochet into the chain space. One, two, two chains, two double crochet, two chains, two double crochet. Basically, just repeat the last round for as many times as needed, and I have my measurements up on the screen, and yours may be different from mine. This is the panel for the sleeve. I'm going to show you the last step before turning it into a sleeve. And we are only doing this on the sleeve panels. At the end of your last round, one chain and turn. In the first stitch, place a single crochet. Place two single crochet into the chain space. One. Two single crochet into the double crochet stitches. Two single crochet. One, two single crochet into the double crochet stitches. And repeat this all the way across. And I'll meet you at the end of the round. At the end of the round, after the last stitch, one chain, and right now we have this large panel. Now you can see the whole panel. Fold it in half and stitch this side together. So make sure to leave a long tail before cutting. When stitching together, try to match the pattern and try to stitch as close to the edge as possible. Once the sleeves are done, then you can stitch the panels together. And this is what I mean by matching the pattern. The final step is to attach a working yarn at the left hand corner here. Tie a knot. And single crochet all the way to the top, down, and all around back to the beginning. You can do this more than once, but I only went around once. 
There's no stitches to tell you where to place your stitch. So try to do your best to keep your stitches even. Once you went all the way around and back to the beginning, cut yarn after the last stitch and join the round with a yarn needle. Insert into the first stitch and insert into the back loop of the previous stitch. Then fasten off. And that's all for today. Thank you for joining me. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel, hit the like button, and the notification bell. And I'll see you in my next video. Bye!